When it comes to relationships in our love lives, we all tend to want the same thing. Fall in love with someone who will love and treat us respectfully. We want to be happy, be the best version of ourselves, and have someone support us through rough and challenging times. And yes, we also want to be there for them as well, as long as we feel loved in return. However, the quest of finding that person who can play right by our side isn't as straightforward as it seems. Sometimes, we find ourselves dating people for the wrong reasons, and this can harm the relationship in so many ways that we can imagine. Also, apart from destroying the relationship, dating the wrong person can tear us down. For some, it can cause depression, constant feelings of anger, and the need to be defensive more than usual. Hence, the need to date the right person and for the right reasons. Anyway, in this video, I'll share with you 10 reasons why people fall in love with the wrong people. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. You're afraid to be single Mandy Hill, a blogger and author, said, Single is no longer a lack of options, but a choice. A choice to refuse to let your life be defined by your relationship status, but to live every day happily and let your ever after work itself out. Until you understand what it means to be single, you'll always be in a hurry to get into a relationship, even if it means being with the wrong person. Your single days are a time to reflect on who you are and discover the things you like or dislike about life, strengths, weaknesses, etc. You can only live comfortably and at peace with someone else when you understand who you are, the things that you like, and communicate it to them effectively. Orson Shire, a British writer and editor, said, My alone feels so good, I'll only have you if you're sweeter than my solitude. According to Natalie Liu, a podcaster and author, if you really are going to be a happy single, you have to stop treating being single as the annoying time you pass between relationship and embrace it. Rather than focusing on what you lack, focus on what you have, you. The truth is that until you are ready to love and appreciate yourself when you are single, you might not find someone who will love you more than you do yourself. So don't be afraid to be single. Instead, take time to love and take care of yourself all by yourself. 2. You're lonely and want the company and validation of other people, even if you're not compatible. Sometimes, the fear of being alone and lonely can push people into making the wrong choices when it comes to their relationships. The truth is that you can be alone and not be lonely. Conversely, you can be in a relationship with someone and still feel lonely. Sometimes, we let ourselves get pressurized, whether by people on social media, bullies around us, etc., into making the wrong choice because we feel the need to please people or to show the world that we are capable of getting what others have. Well, you all know on that. When you rush into a relationship in a beat to carry your loneliness, without considering whether you are compatible or not, you'll mostly end up with the wrong person. 3. You think that you can change someone As much as you may not like to hear this, the truth is that people will only change when they want to change. You can't change anyone. If you go into a relationship, hoping you'll change the person or thinking that you can fix the relationship when everything looks wrong from the beginning, then you're in for some drama. You'll feel frustrated because you must have wasted energy and time trying to change them at all costs, only to realize that they are still the same person. 4. You don't know what you want in a person. Okay, maybe this doesn't sound like a wrong thing to do, but only if you know the boundaries or limits. It's like this. Most times, the people that we admire have certain traits that we like and we wish we had for ourselves. So, we find them lovable and hope we can acquire these same traits through affiliation to make us adorable as well. However, sometimes we get too blinded by emotions to consider other traits that they have, whether we can deal with it. For instance, you say you admire someone funny, but also has an extreme anger disorder. You'll be doing yourself more harm than good to overlook the anger issues because they have one trait that you like being funny. Instead, look for this trait in someone who is a lot calmer and still amusing. You'll enjoy the relationship better with them. 5. You project your illusion of ideal instead of seeing people the way they are. Sometimes, we need to ask ourselves if we are really in love or just in love with the idea of being in love. Are you in love with your partner or just in love with the idea of being with them? Are you so wrapped up in your illusion that you become so blinded to their real character? When you're in a situation like this, you'll always get caught up in one drama or another as a result of continually demanding what they cannot offer you. To be genuinely happy, you must learn to love and accept the truth about your partner, love them for who they are and what they represent. 6. You're scared of commitment 
Some people are just scared of commitment. So every time it looks like things are about to get serious, they become uncomfortable. If this is how you feel, well, maybe the problem is your fear of commitment. So irrespective of who you're with, you'll always feel this way when taking your relationship a step higher in the right direction. If you want to find the right relationship, then you need to, first of all, overcome this fear. 7. You don't think you're good enough or that you deserve better. Sometimes, some people settle for what is available because they don't think that they can find someone better or even deserve anyone better. Again, if you don't love and treat yourself right, no one will. A part of loving yourself is knowing that you deserve to enjoy the good things of life, including a loving partner. 8. You haven't figured out what you need in life. Is a relationship what you need now or financial stability? If you don't know what you want in life, how can you find the perfect partner? You need to know what you want and be independent instead of depending on someone to help you figure out your needs. It won't work. They'll probably get frustrated doing that over and over again. Also, when you know what you need, then you can find someone who compliments you instead of trying to force someone else to be your Mr. or Mrs. Perfect. 9. You're seeking social approval. Because you have friends who are in relationships with wealthy and incredibly famous, doesn't mean that you equally should be with a famous person. The truth is that if you allow that to cloud your judgment, no doubt, you fall in love with a famous person, but they might also be the wrong choice of a partner for you. It's like this. Because you are only about their fame, all you will see will be fame. Ignoring other habits that will make up a person, seeking social approval, or trying to please your friends can make you fall in love with the wrong person and get yourself hurt. So always take time to ask yourself the reason you're interested in a particular person. 10. You use others to get over your exes. Have you ever heard of the phrase relationship dependency? Relationship dependency is when a person finds his relationship to solve their financial, social issues or get over their exes. When you use your relationship to get what you could not afford and also as a means of escaping from unwanted situations or bad memories, you depend on your relationship for survival and that's too much a burden to place in someone else. They'll get tired someday and start treating you in ways you would not like. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.